welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be filling out my 2022 Bella Journal spreads. I'm using an Arctrim Olive and Plant Based Bride collaboration, and we're just getting started with my 2021 cover page. I'm doing a white cherry blossom theme, that's why I'm leaving it black and white. And in this moment right here is when I realized I have made a big ass mistake and I ripped the page out. I've already filled out my year in each like month block um, and I've decided to use this little flap section here that I never use that front page for to write out my like year at a glance future log area just where I can like write down events. I don't usually use that so I thought I would try it again this year. Um, I'm doing like a flick motion for these branches. I kind of like, I liked how it started and then I just like how it continued. Um, I wanted to keep that like circular title and so I used my template to do that. And I'm just going in and we're doing like sort of squiggly motions for the petals, just the tops of the petals anyway, to create that cherry blossom shape. It's kind of hard to explain it, like it's kind of like a feeling that you do. My too much gene definitely kicked in here and I made that branch like heckin thick and I made the like too many branches, you know, it just, it, it becomes like a lot, a lot, a lot. I kind of wish that I made it coming from more from the side and like more of the top of the branches, not like the base and you know, it just makes it look short and stubby. Um, I think you can see a little bit better in those two shots where like the way I squiggle to make the petals, but I just added a little finishing touches, including like the title. And I just, you know, it's one of those things where I already ripped a page out, so I just gotta leave it and let it be. <laughs> so I already filled out my Kanban board, and I'm just going in with some scrap pieces of paper to make my title. I usually scrapbook and whatnot quite a bit in my bullet journal, so I only filmed a little bit for this section here. And then in my January spread, you will like, pretty much that whole January spread is me like scrapbooking and creating title pages for January and whatnot. So if you would like to click on that to watch that, that comes out next week or I'll link it at the end of this video. So, um, my Kanban board on the left is for the videos that I'm in process of making. I move them along as I'm going using little washi tape or sticky notes depending on what I have available. Um, right now I'm writing YouTube because this is what this spread is for. This spread is to keep track of where I'm at in my creative process and on the right side it is for all of the videos that I have made. Um, there's space for 12 months in each bracket and there's space for four videos each bracket. I'm not necessarily going to be making four videos a month, but I'm wanting to sort of keep more track of how many I make during each month and am I making them consistently throughout the month. That is one of my goals, so I'm hoping to sort of keep myself more accountable this year than I did last year. I'm going in with my leafy stickers, stickers, <laughs> I love decorating with the like plants, imagery and whatnot, I just think it looks cool, um, I need to buy way more because I'm running out, I've been using them all last year and now all for 2022, so I know that I'm going to need to buy more. I am just sort of adding finishing touches and I think this is one of my favourite spreads that I've done. Then we are on to the next page. I bring out my 2021 journal just to have a little look-see at what I did for my bookshelf and book list spreads. I used those the most out of my bullet journal. Um, you can see I colour in each book as I read them depending on what way I read them and then I have my list. This is where I jump between and I quickly change my brain and I go to just add these stickers in. This is supposed to be my goal page and like my brain is so all over the shop when it comes to these creative process that I just, I kind of do one thing and then I jump to another and it just, it's all over the shop. Kind of like this footage is. I had issues with exporting and also just 
the footage in general that I filmed, it kind of became a little bit corrupted and I managed to salvage a bit, so apologies for it being quite choppy and cutty. I used what I could and apologies for that. My January video is definitely not like that at all. I've sort of adjusted and fixed that problem so it hopefully doesn't happen in the future. Here we are getting into my bookshelf lists. I am making sort of three lines to add to like the chunk of the outside of the bookshelf. We are making it more woodwork like so we're just like making it thicker with the three lines. You get what I'm putting down. The shelves, I'm having two lines just to make them look extra thick. I kind of mucked up on the bottom and I made one shelf a bit bigger so I had to make the other shelf a bit smaller. But I like to think it adds a little bit more character and sort of is a bit more realistic when it comes to bookshelves because I know mine aren't all even. So I just, you know, I kept roll with the punches. We ain't shitting on myself for making little mistakes anymore. <laughs> Um, I do fill up the books in a bit later on. I didn't really want to film it because it takes bloody forever. So I'm just like filling out a little bit. I do end up listing them all down on the right side and also this left side as well. I do have lists for all of my books that I've read. Now, I think I'm opening, yeah, I'm opening up my Marvel comic list and then I quickly realized that I made a mistake when I was writing the header, so I just like cover that up with a piece of paper and I do end up writing TBR under it. All right, here I'm putting a 2022 books in, in wait, 22 books in 2022. I don't fill it out for this video though. Um, oh, right here I'm showing off the footprints and whatnot that I got in my journal. I think about eight bit more than eight pages were uh, scuffed up with these giant footprints so I definitely need to go hey I bought myself this for Christmas can we just double check our stock so it doesn't happen to anyone else you know but it is what it is I I'm still able to use the book so I'm not gonna like crack the shits I've used Archer and Olive for years and I just it's one of those things you know sometimes you, they can't help it so we've got my Marvel list that I just quickly filled out and here I thought I was finished and then I go, oh shit, yeah, I gotta go back and do my goals. So for my goals, I do four little categories. I have books, health, um, focus and fun and then I go in and I have three particular goals for those each focus. I need to fix and like add extra to my fun, <laughs> but... I just can't think of anything. So we got video brainstorm plans next to my Marvel comics that I ended up filling out and finishing. I left my TBR spread blank because I really do not know what I want to read this year. And then I have a little section at the bottom of my list just for a reflection if I do end up filling that out. I need to finish decorating it. And then I have a very blank page because it's going to be filled up with a list. And then I have my bookshelves all filled out looking nice and snazzy. And then this page here is so boring, I don't know how to make it better. <laughs> I might fiddle around a bit with some decorations, but like, I really don't like it. It is what it is though. I probably won't look back on it very often. So I go from like the shittiest page to my favorite page. I love the way this YouTube comp on board and like listing came out. I think it works great. I've already been using it, as you can see, and it's just working wonders. So I added a little bit of strip of colored washi tape so it looked a little bit more intentional. And yeah, no, I'm really excited to start using this for 2022. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I do have a January one coming out next week. And I also hope you are looking forward to that. Have a nice day.